Now, this shit crazy. My, my motherfucking video I did when I was talking about y'all motherfuckers couldn't handle the truth. Y'all LDBC motherfuckers and, you know, hardcore Wilder fans couldn't handle the truth about how Deontay Wilder was being managed or mismanaged throughout his 11-year career. I was saying the motherfucker should be a mega superstar. He's not a fucking mega superstar right now. As a matter of fact, he hasn't broken no pay-per-view records, like I said. Um, he has not sold out no arenas, and he should be doing that. That's the point of that video. And y'all motherfuckers couldn't understand and listen to that shit. Y'all couldn't take the truth. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Come on, how the fuck I don't know what I'm talking about? Y'all motherfuckers crazy. I'm spitting out raw facts. My channel is about facts, common sense, right? I display all of that shit. And y'all motherfuckers talking about I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, you shouldn't. You shouldn't trust. Uh, you know what? What? What you're hearing and stuff like that. And my point of this shit is the fact that Deontay Wilder should be in position right now, where he. I was saying last night on my live stream, he should be undisputed champion of the world right now. When was the last time we had a U.S. Uh, uh, an American black heavyweight champion of the world that has been undisputed when was the last time that happened it hasn't been recent it hasn't been 10 years it's been a long ass motherfucking time and he should be doing that right now so now that belt that andy Ruiz took where it's the upset you know my last video i said is upset of the century that's the troll that was a that was a clickbait title you know but it was the upset of the, of the last 10 years, I would say. Um, point is, is that Deontay Wilder right now, till this day, as he says right here, hashtag till this day, he should be undisputed champion of the world. Okay? Doesn't matter about who's the A-side or whatever the case may be. Hey, listen, man, Mayweather, when, when Mayweather fought Oscar De La Hoya, Mayweather, Mayweather was like, listen, I'm going to beat your ass. All right. I don't care what you pay me. I don't care where we fight. I don't care what kind of gloves we have. I'm going to beat your ass. And when I beat your ass, I'm going to become a mega superstar. I'm every every fight after that is going to be on pay-per-view. I'm going to I'm going to be breaking numbers. Everybody's going to see me fight whether they want to see me win or lose. Right, I'll become a mega superstar where people are gonna hate my guts, they wanna pay to see me lose. I don't care, I'm getting cake. That's the kind of mentality that Deontay Wilder should have had, or at least he should have been coached by Al Heyman to say, Listen, take a loss, take a pay cut, accept whatever money they, they give you, knock his ass out. And the main goal is to become one champion, one face, one name, as Deontay Wilder says. He lost that opportunity. So I'm more upset the fact that that should have been Deontay Wilder doing that shit today right now, not Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz should have been the one to knock his motherfucker out. I'm, I'm sorry. Deontay Wilder should have been the one knocking his motherfucker out and become an undisputed champion of the world. You know what I'm saying? So now they got a minute. Now they got an immediate rematch clause and we'll see what happens when they fight later this year, November, December sometime. Other thing is that you know, according to credible sources, NY Post, okay, NY Post says this that um, Ruiz, a massive 25 to 1 underdog in some books, dropped Joshua four times in the bout before referee Mike Griffin stopped the fight at 127 of the seventh round in front of a sold out and shocked crowd. So, Madison Square Garden was sold out, which is a capacity of 18,200 people. When Deontay Wilder fought Dominic Brazil, he sold 13,181 tickets. Why the fuck did that happen? Why? Why the fuck would this motherfucker from the UK come over here in the US and out and outsell Deontay Wilder, who's been a pro for 11 fucking years? Why, did, why the fuck did that happen? Why, why Al Heyman? Why Shelly Finkel? Why did that happen? Why? And why wasn't the fight on pay-per-view? <laughs> Again, he's been mismanaged, man. He should be champion. He should be a mega superstar. He should be the highest paid boxer or athlete right now, today. And he's not. That's the motherfucking truth that y'all motherfuckers 
don't want to hear. Straight the fuck up. Y'all niggas don't want to motherfucking hear the motherfucking truth. So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all motherfuckers, man. So, we, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. As far as Deion, as far as uh, Wilder, as you guys, y'all see here, Wilder says he wasn't a true champion. His whole career was consisted of lies, contradictions, and gifts, facts, and now we know who's running from who. Okay, well, if that's the case, Wilder, why didn't you fight him? Why didn't you fight him today or yesterday? Why You should have been the one knocking his ass out, motherfucker. Just like I posted here. You should have been the one to knock his ass out and keep the titles in the U.S. Now they in Mexico. You should have been the one doing that shit. So your career has been mismanaged. You have been... Uh, you have been coddled your whole career. It's, it's time to just let loose it's time to say fuck whatever advice al Heyman's giving me fuck whatever advice shirley finkel jd's lou debella steven espinosa giving me let me fight who the fuck i want to fight and and not let these motherfuckers you know mismatch my career you know what i'm saying because he should be fucking unified he should be undisputed right now for 11 years you should have been undisputed a long ass time ago or at least unified a long time ago you know what I'm saying? It's, it's time, man. It's time. So, the heavyweight division is uh, one punch can change everything, man. That's what happened last night. One punch changed everything. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be crazy. Um, man. <laughs> You know, everybody waking up the next day like, oh, my God, Anthony Joshua is not the unified champion. He got knocked out. He got knocked the fuck out. So. Yeah, man, just wanted to do a quick video on this shit. Um, leave your comments down below, family. Let me know what you guys think. Let me see. It could have been Ortiz, too. Ortiz turned down $7 million to fight motherfucking uh, Joshua on short notice. Ortiz could have been a unified champion. Ortiz is mad. I know Ortiz and Wilder are fucking mad. The only motherfucker from the PBC that they let across the street was Ruiz. So, and, and I saw, I saw... Gerald Miller last night on, on Instagram, he was mad. He was just posting himself in a video like this. He was just like this. That could have been him if you didn't take the motherfucking drugs. So now that you know AJ is a normal ass fighter that'll that'll move his head. He can easily be countered. Right? A motherfucker that don't move his head. And um <clears throat> now he's food. Now he's food. Okay? But it's too late now because Ruiz has another opportunity to fight him. Now he got to defend his belts. And y'all should have been the ones to knock his ass out. Not motherfucking Ruiz. Wilder, Ortiz, y'all motherfuckers lost your opportunity to become undisputed. But it is what it is. Those are my quick thoughts. Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Till next time, make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, Chauncey signing out.